Okay, I'm Joe Sassani. I'm an ophthalmologist here at the Hershey Medical Center. And with the upcoming eclipse, I think it's very important that the public aware be aware of not only the real opportunity to enjoy it, but also the potential dangers to your eyes. I think when we were kids, we all had the experience that we were burning our initials in a piece of wood with a magnifying glass. Well, unfortunately, the, uh, laser, uh, the uh, eclipse can do that to your retina if you look at it without proper protection. Basically, you're focusing the energy of the sun on the back of your eye. Now, normally, the sun is so bright that we're uh, inclined not to look at it. It's painful to look at it. But with a partial eclipse, there's enough covering of the intensity of the white light that the other uh, wavelengths of light, particularly the red wavelength, which is heat, can be focused on your retina and can burn it. So if we want to think of the retina as the film in the camera, and if your eyes like a camera, the light comes in the front, it's focused by the cornea, the clear part, the lens, then it's focused on the retina, which is the film in the camera. If you burn it, you can imagine what would happen if you burned the piece of film in a camera or if you burned the uh, chip in your LCD camera. So what we have to do is if you're going to look at the eclipse, you have to have special glasses for that. And I think the PenLive website has a really good article where they list the manufacturers of the appropriate glasses to protect your eye. This can be a particular problem from children who might look over glasses, so they have to watch very carefully if they're going to participate at all in the eclipse uh, phenomenon. Now, we're, I say, going to get maybe a 70, 80 percent eclipse here, but that's just bad enough to burn your eye, and you might not be aware of how dangerous it can be. I was happy to see that one of the school districts in the area is not going to have recess during the eclipse. Fortunately, most schools aren't open at that time. But children would not be aware of the danger, and if they were to look up while they were in recess, they could permanently affect their vision. Oddly enough, a doctor named Meyer Schwickerath got the idea for the laser that we use to treat the back of the eye by looking at the eye of a student who had uh, looked at an eclipse at that time. So actually, laser treatment was kicked off with a person who was burned in their retina by an eclipse. So what happens when the retina is burned? Well, you can imagine what would happen if you burned the chip on your camera. You would have a hole. You would have sensing elements uh, that were not perceiving the image, and so you would have a hole in your vision. Now, you might not notice it right away, but it's there. Fortunately, a lot of time there's significant recovery but even if the vision recovers to 2020, uh, studies of the retina could show that there was permanent damage to that retina. And what that would have to do later in life, we can't be sure. So you want to avoid even that possibility by using only the appropriate protection. And the dark glasses that you can wear, it's more than just the dark glasses that you might get from your eye doctor or right, your you, regular sunglasses. If you look over here on the computer, this is an inform informational uh, publication by the American Academy of Ophthalmology and specifically they're pointing out that even the darkest sunglasses that you could buy in the drugstore or anywhere else are not adequate. You have to have specifically designed eclipse viewing uh, glasses to look at the eclipse and a particular danger, and I'll scroll down, scroll down here for a second, are optical devices that focus the light because that even intensifies the effect of the uh, the eclipse. So you have to have special filters in a camera or binocular or something. And I'd really, unless you know what you're doing, avoid that at all costs. So if you want to view the eclipse, you can either use these special glasses or the, um, I think NASA website has information on how to create a little pinhole camera so that you can look at it indirectly. And that would be a really good way to show children where they're not using those glasses and there's no chance they're going to look over them. So this is a very enjoyable event. It's a historic event, but it has to be viewed as, uh, carefully and uh, to protect your vision during that time.